Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teacher Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. It is good to have you back again. Today, we are checking out NAC 2. Uh, obviously, a recent release on the PlayStation Network and on hard copy. Do you remember NAC? A lot of people don't remember NAC. A lot of people actually were displeased with NAC whenever it first came out. But it was, it was a platformer adventure that kind of showed the PS4 for its for its early days like nearly every launch title is always going to be a limited limited experience but it was designed to essentially show all the bits and particles you can have on screen at once where it was all the next bits and pieces and i thought i was charmed by it i thought it was like a, a almost a maybe a astro boy-esque kind of like mini adventure and i haven't finished the game myself i've actually played through the majority but but i didn't get to finish it i'm really really not I'm not I'm not enamored by the idea that I'm going to play a demo of a game that's sequelized and I'm going to see spoilers for whatever happened at the end of that one. But this is what I do for you guys. Make sure you guys get to check it out and you can see this demo for yourself in the PlayStation Store. It is available. And of course, the full game is now out for sale. You should actually want to check it out. Then check it out. A lot of people actually bought Knack, played it, got rid of it. I moved on afterwards. I bought it in digital copy not that long ago, so that's the reason why I hadn't finished it. But I got it reasonably cheap. So if you want to see the first of this series, you can happily check out Knack, but there's a lot of little technical flaws and slow bits about the game that I wouldn't wouldn't encourage people to really jump into it. But if you're there, if you want to, if you're in for the story, you might as well get in from the beginning. So I highly recommend looking it up. But here is Knack 2. That's what we're here to check out. Knack! What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I was just making sure there was no background music playing. <laughs> I was just curious because I was worried that there was actually background audio playing the entire time that wasn't part of this. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents. So SIE, what did you bring as first party as a sequel to one of your launch titles for the PS4? What are we at? We're at five years? Five or six years? Oh, well, it does look better anyway. As in, like, it looks uh, a bit faster and a bit more action-y. Because the combat in the previous game was mm, reasonably slow paced. Uh, 30 frames per second mode? Ah. Uh, right. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm cabin Because the stream is only going to be at 30 frames per second, so I'm going to leave the cabin. But that's surprising. That was very surprising. Um, alright. So like things like HDR and 30 frames a second actually being left in um, as control options, which is kind of odd, but it, it does imply uh, support for things like the HDR comes in if you're actually using a PS4 Plus, and uh, the 30 frames a second I'm sure is probably to help the original PlayStation manage the game, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to cap it at 30 because the capture rate that I'm actually recording is going to only keep it at 30. Um, I'd be curious to know what it's like at faster rates, but I'm I'm not a I'm not a frames. I'm not a frames Nazi whenever it comes to this kind of stuff, but I don't mind it actually being uh, capped at that level, just because I, I don't care. <laughs> More less than the fact that I actually don't see a difference, and there is a very obvious difference, but I just tend to not give a crap about it. <laughs> so let's take a look at Knack 2 here in the gameplay. Uh, we're just going to do it at normal, as it should be. And there's, a, oh yeah, single and co-op play. I completely forgot about that. There's actually a full co-op play of the game available. So um, yeah, the, previously you could play co-op, but it was like, almost like Sonic 2 level co-op where Player 2 just was invincible and was just a, actually at part of Knack's life to exist. But uh, imagine this one's probably a little bit more balanced and allows you two separate characters. So let's check it out. Um, move, jump, X to hover, jump, kick, jump square, jump square, hold square for multi-punch, parry with L1. Alright, and that's all we need to worry about. Cool. So parry is very important because last time it was not fun. Wait, are we going to jump straight into Here combat? We celebrate the martial arts above all else. Wow, time has passed. Begin. Like he's looking a lot older. We're behind you. Okay. Getting interesting. You can do it. Big ninja kicks to the face. 
don't get why there's actually we're fighting. Uh, decided that this would be the greatest thing to do for the actual intro to the game. But fair enough to them. Knocking you down. Body slam. Oh, he does actually have like a E Honda style multi punch. Ow, 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 ow. I'm assuming I actually just kind of have to move around here. Oh, wow. Wow! Okay, that's a lot more fun. I like the lightsabers. <laughs> a nice touch. Right, so instead of actually building up crystals and then doing like a special attack, you actually get a whenever you get max crystals, you actually get a massive boost. Which is kinda of useful. Wait, what? Why am I Oh, it's making me do this kind of thing, growing through a small space? No? Wait. I don't know what's going on. Oh right. Ah, right, so Little Knack can actually reach um, shelving, or he can get up to bits, and then jump up from there. That makes sense. But he can actually get it down on the smaller platforms. Ow. Ow! That works better. Bowling balls! Well, that was mildly easy of a puzzle. Right, so there actually is a proper defense now as well, which is good because previously you had this kind of like shifty run that you could dodge like this, but didn't really do anything other than uh, mess up your timing for attacks because you couldn't actually do your dodge and then immediately attack afterwards. Uh, Doki? That made it a little bit easier. Previously you had to break every box along the way to find all the gems you needed, but now I'm assuming that they've kind of like avoided that. So it does feel like a move on from the original game. Ow! Ow! Every single head's making me smaller. Ow. Alright, this is getting awful. Ow! Yeah, I knew that was coming because I just... I was, I'm curious to know how far. Uh, it's not putting me too far back. That's okay. I was a little bit concerned there. Boom, boom, boom. Oops, that took him down. Alright, am I meant to actually just pummel through him? Because I'm not too sure. I droid time! Alright, so another knack style creature. So I'm assuming they actually kind of invented, took control of this technology later on. You will face my creation. Ow. Alright. Reset cutscene. It's hard to believe you saved the world. All you know are three punches and a kick. He can yes. Jump too. Hey. You're a good fighter, but to be a great warrior, you need to know more. Well, this is a good start, at least teaching them to do other stuff. <laughs> That's something that they lacked horribly in the previous game, so unbelievably repetitive. I now know Kung Fu! It's relic energy. It's the same force that binds your body together. Now, focus and attack! HADOKEN! HADOKEN! Bye! So, cutscene stuffs. Press X not to die. Boop. 
Right in the nose. Essentially eats all the parts and makes me bigger. The heavy punch can even break rocks. Use it wisely. Alright. Cool, that works for me. There we go, that knocks him down. Ah, oh, nice. Just knock that guy back. Ow. Ow. Son of a bitch. Ow, ow. Alright, well that was fun. But it was successful. We got through it. <laughs> this is big thud. Big punch. Just use big punch over and over again. You only had three things on a punch or on a kick. Now you have one extra punch. Break that box, break that box, break all the boxes. Might be someone left inside them. Ha! Ha! Oh, shit! Best time that. Yeah, instant kill. I <laughs> imagine that was going to be the case. Down no, you go. Ah, it, it, it doesn't actually kill them, it just ninjas them out. Boom! Punch that shit. Boom! Oh, ow, ow! But you can't make a jump. Down you go, down you go! Punch! 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 This is a giant task by the city. I'm just gonna punch everything. Punch! There we go. That was enjoyable. Ow! Get out of the way. Ah! Let's make a word there for a second. Oh, hey, ah. Oh, hey, ah. Nice. Bah. Punch all the things. What a! What a! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Such an awkward, awful camera angle. Why did it do that? That's per per move there. There we go. That's more like it. Well, that worked. Even though I didn't mean it for it to work that way, but it worked for me. Kick to the face. <laughs> Poked me, I punch him. Juke, juke. I like that. You can dodge through somebody. I'm going to make use of that more often. So essentially all the attack animations are the same as the guys who are attacking me, essentially, Most I think. Boom. Of all that have faced our warriors, you are by far the strongest. That's more like it. Ah! Ow, ow. Boom. Yeah?
Ow! No, not good. Ow! I can't actually dodge around him. Ow, ow. Down you go. Are you serious? Knack! <laughs> oh, you think I was gonna look at him like, there's no way he was gonna survive this tiny knack. Do I have to survive this whole endurance bit thing? Okay. I just save that for whenever I need it. Oh no, they can break it too! What the hell? One more time. Come on. There we go. And all your pieces are now mine. All right there. <laughs> You're mine, relics. So there's literally no story or plot, anything that was just combat to show me? Alright, well, so obviously the game comes out today. So, yeah. Yeah, but like, there's not much else I can really show you guys. That was obviously Knack 2. Um, the combat feels so much more fluid than it did previously. It felt really, really, really stiff in the original Knack 1. It was one of the biggest complaints I actually had about it. There was no, there was no real versatility. There was actually a lot of dodging rather than actually being able to counter and react and attack back. And... Uh, I don't know, I mean, the snack's looking good. It's not looking any worse than it was previously. Um, I'm not too sure. It's, look, the levels are looking reasonably elaborate, but you, you saw the basic level design that's there. That geometry, that kind of like mm, linear path making. It's, it's an old school adventure platformer that has some really awkward combat because you don't really feel like you've got enough health to make it through it, but you will make it a way through, you know, obviously, because there's not a, it's not impossible. It's not designed to be impossible, it's designed to be an enjoyed cinematic experience from level to level. So if you actually enjoyed the stylings of the characters and would like to see more about them, uh, then I highly recommend you check out Knack 1 at least because it's dirt cheap. It's like about, and I'm pretty sure you can buy it from a store on hard copy, like second hand for about seven quid. And I bought mine digitally from the store, uh, from the PSN store for I think five bucks whenever it was actually during a seal previously. So it's it's not it's not an expensive game to check out the first one if you're at all interested in the style. And if you then seen the style, you can then jump into Knack 2, which is coming out on September 6th, as you can see right on screen. So um, yeah, guys, I hope you actually enjoy this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there or hit the likes or comment or do whatever the things that you actually like to do. But if you don't like to do any of those things, you don't feel like comfortable with it, that's okay. Not everybody is. I don't want to trick you in any way, shape or form. What you can do is check out Past Siege of Skin. Just look up my name, Google it, search for it, memorize it. This name right here. This is the one that you need to know. If you know that, you can find me because I'm not trying to hide. It's easy to find me on the internet. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh wait, one more thing. If you're watching this on YouTube, boop. There'll be a button up here. There'll be a playlist up here. Way on the far side will be the most recent videos. And right here, right here will be a video just for you based on user analytics and the things that you do on YouTube. It'll pick out a video that's actually to your taste. So I highly recommend you watch that one. It's pretty good. It's going to be a good one that you actually should find there. So I highly recommend you click on it. But thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.